Hello, good day. My name is Gandhi Bajanath, and I'm about to demonstrate how to install roaming profiles, right? And of course, home folder. First of all, what is a roaming profile? A roaming profile is a concept of Microsoft Windows family of operating system, right? Which allows a user to join to a domain to access his files from another computer where all the users set and see the same like for example stuff on your desktop if you have files stored there when you go onto another computer and log on you will see the same stuff on your desktop etc etc right all right first of all we shall go right click select new folder email profiles and then right click on the folder select properties select the sharing tab share select the drop down find check names this is the user I want to add so I select ok the first thing that will come up is reader I just select the down arrow and assign it to contributor because I want the person to read and write files and I'll select share done alright the network part here you're gonna copy it right click copy I'll close this off now this is open server manager Rules. Active directory. Conda dot com. All right, we're going to use the Costat organizational unit. Select that. As you can see, I have some users assigned to it. I'll use this user here. Right click. Properties. Select profile on the profile tab. Right click paste backslash percent user name percent sign apply as you can see it populates uh, the username. Select OK. Okay, now I'll log on to a Windows Vista computer and demonstrate the room profiles. So I'll pause for a moment while I load up the Windows Vista. Okay, you're going to log on to the visitor system. Here, yeah, right click, select new, text document, type something here. Save it, hold off, and now we'll lock off. We'll go across to the Windows server side now. Right, turn on the Windows server side. When you go into the folder itself, you'll see mark ken.v2 meaning I was able to log on on the user and I created a folder for the user select continue select the security tab link continue right, um, we'll let it use the administrators for this domain Select this job, um, this checkbox. Apply. Yes. Okay. Okay. First off, double click. 
Right, now I can see I can actually view what the users has. I'll select desktop and remember I created a text file on the desktop. And it says hello will. Well, that works. Alright, something else that I need to explain is even though the Roman profile may sound like a cool concept, it has some problems. Um, some problems are like if multiple users decide to log in and log out at the same time, it'll cause congestion. Like, say, for instance, in Costat, they implement room and profiles alone, and people just keep on logging in and logging out. It'll cause um, a host of a congestion on the network. Another problem is multiple logins can override each other. So, for instance, let's say user Ken, right? He was logged on to a Vista computer and then he goes and logs on on another classroom in an ex-Vista computer and basically the work that he had on the previous computer say he wanted to go back to it when he logs off of the computer that he's currently on it'll actually alter the files on the room and profile itself so in order to fix this they did something called home folder right so now i'm going to show you how to set up our home folder right first we're going to go to start computer look at the c right click new folder name it home Enter, right click, properties, select sharing, tab, advanced sharing. Gonna choose a suitable share name. Leave that. Uh, select permissions, full control, apply. Apply. Okay. Close. Right. Minimize this. Right. You wanna come and start. Select up the battery users and computers. Right. And well, I'll use this organizational unit. Right click. Properties, Profile, Connect, well I already copied and pasted it so uh, use that, backslash, percent, user name, percent, apply, select OK. Now when I come back here, I should see the user view. So the home folder is created successfully. Also home folders are called redirectional folders. So thank you for viewing and please subscribe.